Hi, I'm Andrew Sink, and this is 3D With Us. <music> 3D With Us is an active blog in the 3D printing space, and they recently asked me to help bring some of their blog content over here to YouTube. So that's exactly what we're going to be trying out today. First up, we're going to talk about the Hook Tournament by filament manufacturer Polymaker. This has been an absolute blast to watch, and Polymaker put out a call to all makers and companies to submit their ideas for a 3D printed hook, which would be used in a tensile test against other similar hooks to find out who can make the strongest 3D printed hook. It's been really fascinating to see some of the geometries that people have come up with, and I'm really excited to see which of these hooks is going to take home the top prize. Next up, we're going to talk about 3D scanning apps. I recently published a blog on the 3D With Us site talking about some of my favorite smartphone 3D scanning apps. 3D scanning has lagged behind 3D printing a little bit due to the complex workflow involved, but now with apps available on your smartphone that can take a scan and create a watertight 3D printable mesh, it's easier than ever to get started. One of my favorite apps is Bellus 3D, which lets you take a scan of your face and then export a watertight 3D mesh with pretty high level of detail. This is a really simple process, and if you want to make a 3D scan and print of your face, this is a fast way to do it. Next, we're going to talk about the Delta Wasp 2040 and its unique conveyor belt system. The Delta Wasp 2040 uses a really unique system for creating these parts, by printing directly onto a conveyor belt that's held down with a vacuum system. Once the part is finished, the front door of the machine lifts, and the belt moves just far enough to knock the part off and then retracts for printing again. I think this is a really unique solution to this problem, and I'm excited to see how this printer does in the market. Finally, we're going to talk about my review of the ANET ET4X 3D printer. The ANET ET4X is a semi-DIY kit, meaning the electronics have already come pre-wired, all the user has to do is assemble the mechanical components and the motion system of the 3D printer. That means the ET4X is a great fit for users who are looking to build their first 3D printer. They want hands-on experience, but they don't necessarily want to do any soldering or electronics work. It's a great value for the price, and I was able to get mine up and running in only a few hours after I unboxed it. If you want to learn more about any of these topics, or just 3D printing in general, be sure to check out the 3D With Us site. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.